Hello friends, welcome to Lana's YouTube channel. I am a guest here to teach you how to do a, an Android web view app. Yeah. Please like and subscribe to receive updates on technology. Yeah, I'm just going to show you the process, so I am not going to go into uh, intricacies. You know? Yeah, there will, there will be there will be some other there, there will be some other tutorial on a concise Android app or, or web you're making. But for now, I'll, I don't want to bore you with the unnecessary details. So the aim of this video is just to get your web view app working. Yeah, and Google allows web view apps on the Play Store, so you're in luck. I will take you through this project and explain what you need to know. And I would leave a link to this project below this video. Please know that I'm going to assume that you already have Android Studio installed on your PC. Yeah, what, what does this web view app allow you to do? What, what can you do this with this web view app? Um, there are some features you get here compared to other tutorials you find online. So this web view app allows you to swipe down to refresh, allows you to upload files and photos, not just photos, like I have seen a lot of web view app tutorials on YouTube that just show you how to upload photos. Yeah, we show you how to upload, upload all sorts of files of different formats, in fact all types of files basically. Yeah, and it also shows you, it also helps you download files. Um, this project would also show a progress bar as it loads. Yeah, and it will show you an exit message when you're about to leave. And I think some other features that I didn't just mention here. So let's get started. I'm just going to show you what you need, like I said. So we are on the activity, activity main.xml and what you really just have to pick out from here is this, you, you have to name your main file, main activity. Yes, and this is your, pro this is my project. This is the name of my project and this is our main activity file main activity java yeah you you want to make sure that this name tallies with this you know and it's case sensitive then you this is i, I told you this project shows a project a, a progress bar as it loads and a result on one and you can change the color to whichever you like I told you this project also allows you to swipe down to refresh. It's very common these days and you want to have that on your Android web view. And this is very important. Without this tag, you're no longer making a web view app. So this tag shows that it is a web view app. And that's all you need to know here. You really don't have to change anything here except this, the project name, the place this with your project name then we go to android manifest.xml and same so take note of these yeah so this project allows you okay well let's not skip this this is your project name you want to make sure it tallies with this and it's on your main activity.java package that's the name of your project don't forget so when we're done with that permissions these are the permissions that your app is going to request from your user it wants to use the internet it wants to it wants the users to allow them to take photos and access network state read your storage and write to your storage yeah just simple this is your icon this is my icon you can put whatever you want there and it's just here that's the icon that's our round icon you can switch it to whatever you want that's your app name that's our round icon that's our app theme style and that's 
reference now main activity again and that's main activity to java you want to make sure this name matches with this and yes you 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 want to make sure it matches and i think that's all you really need to know on our manifest and this is the main activity like the name implies the main activity we've talked about the package name that's my package name you change it wherever you want and we're importing all of these don't worry about these you just import them as it is you don't want to change anything basically and yeah we said we will we want to be able to take pictures we want to be able to upload download yeah we want the user of your website to be able to download upload and take pictures with your android web view app then uh, i think i think that's all you need to know there and something else i would like to show you you just need to know this you don't have changes but this is our user agent now it shows pg web because that's name for app if you, you you can you can leave this out basically you can take it off completely you know you can remove this line if you don't mind but if you want your app to show a setting user agent you can you can change this to whatever name you want you know and the, the, the thing about user agents is you can manipulate your website you know to to show a message to your users who are not on your app you know you can tell them that look you're not on my app so basically on your website you should check for the user agent i i, I bet you should not do that by now if you have a website and then you your website checks and sees that the user agent is not your know, whatever name in this case pg web so you can tell the users you can show a message telling you just to download your app because they are not you're not detecting your user agent but if the user is on your app then it detects your user agent and then it doesn't show any message yeah i think that's why i wanted to show you that and i would also like to show you this is really important you have to change this url to the url of your website and don't forget this is very important please it has to be https your yeah, xsl otherwise you might just upload a blank you might just your users might just get a blank screen you know so you really need to i will upload the video later telling you how if just in case your website is not secure and you want to go with the http please subscribe and you'll get the next video on that but for now we are working with SSL secure sites please please don't forget the s okay thank you and yes we said we are swiping to refresh so that's basically what this function does you know you swipe down and it refreshes the page boom it's just that simple does nothing it works with with uh, this here yeah and some behind the scenes that you, you really shouldn't be bothered about right now so what was what, what was i going to show you again slide okay i hope i'm not boring just straight to the point stuff and we said this app was going to help you download stuff yeah, and that's the function for download it's, it's really simple it's it's just does some few stuff what i just want you to see here is you can download anything basically any kind of file and that's a toast to show you a message file downloading yeah this function allows you use your download manager the download manager of your phone to download whatever file your user to be downloading from your website and then we have that's all you you get from there and what's important again here okay that's just swipe to refresh again yeah so basically 
when you scroll down it refreshes when y is equal to zero yeah, it refreshes but if it's not equal to zero yeah, it doesn't scroll that means it's not at the top you're not at the top so you can't you can't scroll to refresh if you're not at the top of the page basically let's go down to yes we talked about progress bar and that's it that's basically not all of it but we, you want whenever your your page is loading you want to show the progress bar yeah set visibility and progress bar blah 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 let's go down straight i oof it's past 10 minutes i thought i could do this in five minutes but okay you need to take pictures and that's it your app takes pictures for you boom fast fast no big deal but something most 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 of these tutorials online just allows you upload images right yes i've seen a lot of them maybe they're new ones but most of them just allow you upload images and how do they do that i don't know it's, it's this most of them just leave images there why 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 do they want you to upload only images is the only images you upload to your files no you need to upload videos you need to upload mp3 different files zip files raw files why just it's that simple that's all you need and your your you you, you upload all sorts of files to your to your website let me something here okay i don't think i missed anything here. okay let's help you choose your file and let's see is there anything you really need to know here well i think i think that's that's it but let's let's go yes how, how, how did i miss this yeah this 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 is important you need to know this that that's a file we have here that's a file it's on it's on your um, source what this what this file does is basically when your user isn't connected to the internet you show a message telling them looks like you're offline you can modify this to whatever you want you know it's just a message to tell your users that the, their app is not broken your website is not broken it's just that they're not connected to the internet and that's the link to the file there under your asset and why it shows that file it also shows a toast message saying please check your internet connection yeah, and toast message yeah, and the last one we have here is now your user presses the back button twice if the user presses the back button once yes you can go back to the previous page but if they press the back button twice then it looks like they're trying to exit your app but you never want them to leave your app because users always users should always be on your app 247 right so you ask them please don't go and you're not given a choice to leave so if they want to go they'll say i'll be back so they're leaving you a promise like look i'm going to come back it's a promise if you don't come back they failed yeah because they, it's not good to fail in promises but then if they hit to your plea they won't leave and they click okay so it's a win-win situation for you and basically these are the three main files you just need to have and yeah, of course there are other ones that won't be any sense but these are the important files you need to have please leave your comments below this video if you have any doubts if you have any challenges please tell me in the comments i'll be willing to reply and get back to you i will leave the download link to this project 
below this video so please subscribe i'm going to be putting out more videos there and I, it, it gets better it, it does get better trust me and thank you for watching